I'm Kyla Ty with Vintage T-Shirt Monthly. Um, I'm going to be opening up some more T-Shirts today for my eBay orders. If you guys have not subscribed yet, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Um, and if you're not following on Instagram, uh, go over to Vintage T-Shirt Monthly on my Instagram page and you can see the raw, unedited, live recordings of me opening these T-Shirts. And I promise you, they're pretty interesting. <laughs> Last time my dogs got into a big fight in the middle of my recording and I had to stop and restart. So, um, yeah. So I hope you guys uh, like my videos. I know I only have a couple subscribers right now, but I'm hoping you guys start subscribing down below. Um, I also have a Facebook page uh, where I post some of my t-shirts, but my Instagram is probably my um, <laughs> go-to social media for sharing t-shirts. Um, I'll share pictures of subscription boxes when they're packaged. I'll uh, put little pictures when I'm sending out subscription boxes. I'll put coupons, fun little videos, and my live videos. Um, so yeah, so if you guys are not subscribed yet, go ahead and click the subscribe down, down below, button down below. Um, we have Kip with us today, we have my cat Little Dipper, and we also have Muggsy. So, yes, we're going to get started now. <laughs> I went ahead and I cut some of my envelopes open so it would be a little bit easier so I'm not so awkward trying to open up all my packages and it's taking forever. Um, hey Muggsy, do you want to stop messing with the tissue paper? That'd be great. <laughs> so I have t-shirts today and I also have sweatshirts. Um, I have not looked in the envelopes yet so it's a surprise to me like it is to you. Um, these are all vintage t-shirts that I've ordered off eBay. Um, these are to fulfill subscription box orders when I don't have enough um, inventory for um, my subscription boxes from like Goodwills and different vintage stores. I get on eBay and I have a certain like amount that I spend and then I try to stay under that budget and then I end up with boxes at my front door of vintage t-shirts. Um, this one is awesome. Just the tag alone is super cool. I wish you guys could see that. It's got like a little like just face on it. It says snood.com. Um, this is it says snood across the front of it. This is a really cool t-shirt. It's just a simple graphic. Um, someone who's kind of nerdy, um, likes pop culture, is probably going to get this shirt. It's got little like emojis looking on it. So those are pretty cool. There's like a skull and just different little faces. So yeah, that's our first t-shirt. I'm going to have to do a little research on that one because if it's not vintage, it'll go up on my eBay or up on my website. Oh my word, my cats are going <laughs> to be loud and knock over my boxes. Okay, guys, stop it. Okay, this is this one says Martha's Vineyard, um, Vineyard, <laughs> and it is a, oh my, it is very washed out. It's made in the USA. And I am not seeing a size on this one, so we're going to have to do our measurements. Um, this one's just a really simple blue shirt. Um, someone who likes wine, uh, is into like food, um, into just different locations and stuff might get this t-shirt. So yeah, it's a really pretty blue. All of my t-shirts get washed before they go out in your subscription boxes, don't worry. I know my dog's like all over me right now. Um, so yeah. Here we go. This one is Colin Ray counting sheep and it has this great graphic on the front of this guy's face and he's like just very serene with his little guitar. This is a great like nerdy shirt. This is awesome. Someone who's into music and kind of nerdy, dorky, has a sense of humor is probably going to get this shirt. This one's really cool. It's got a front and back graphic which is awesome. And that one's a size small. So, yeah. Guys, this is such a good idea that I cut open all my envelopes before we started. Because this makes it so much smoother. And I'm not, like, awkwardly trying to rip over, open the envelopes. Okay. Oh, here we go. This is a D Mickey Disney shirt. Oh, this is awesome. Okay. It says Mickey Legends. And it's a Mickey Unlimited um, actual Disney sweatshirt. It's not like an off-brand. This one's really light and it's more like a long sleeve, but it is still a sweater, uh, sweatshirt. This has got Mickey and Minnie on it. It says Mickey Legends on it. This one is super cool. I love the graphics on this and it's like really lightweight. Um, the size tag got cut out, so I'm going to have to do some measurements on this one. I'm going to guess a large on this one. So if anyone is interested in this Mickey Minnie sweatshirt, 
I'm terrible and I kept my last Mickey sweatshirt because I fell in love with it. I just couldn't send it out. Um, so if anyone's interested in this Mickey mini sweatshirt, comment below and I could work out some shipping with you. Um, or if you want a subscription box with Mickey Minnie in it, put that as your word. Um, I'm going to put the link below in the comments. Um, or if you're on Instagram watching my live feed right now, um, it is in the bio. And you can get on there and you sub can subscribe to Vintage T-Shirt Box. It comes with one, it comes with two, or you can get a vintage sweatshirt. Um, and then you just put your word, you put your favorite color, your shirt size, um, <laughs> and there's some other questions you fill out. And then that helps me pick out the perfect vintage shirt for you. And Kip, you're going to have to get out of my face. <laughs> I see you, but <laughs> you're funny. Okay, Muggsy's about to knock over my live Instagram feed, guys. So if we go tumbling, it's my cat. I'm sorry. <laughs> If you guys are not following on Instagram, you should get on there. Um, I post live videos, and they're pretty funny, pretty hilarious. They're very raw <laughs> and unedited. So, um, here's another T-shirt. Kip, stop digging. Come here. Lay down. Okay. So this one says, "Betraying the martyrs, betraying the martyrs across it twice." It's got a guy with a mustache tattoo on his hand across. This is a size small. Um, it says "Bonjour" on the back. The little mustache honestly I'm not gonna lie I don't know who this is um, I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research on this one usually I order shirts and I know a lot more about them this one must have come um, really cheap and I just won this one or it came in a package with multiple shirts because um, I do not know anything about this shirt I'm gonna have to do a little research which is not like me. I usually order and I do research before ordering. Um, when I go to Goodwills, I'll get online and I'll kind of check out uh, the tag. I'll check out the year. I'll make sure it's not like a replica of something. Um, so yeah, I'm usually pretty good about doing my research. Unless it's like 4 in the morning and I'm shopping on eBay for vintage shirts. <laughs> Sometimes I'll just start clicking. Okay, that's why this is always just random. I have no idea what I'm going to open. Okay, so this one says Bubba Hotep. Um, it's a 2X. I needed some XXL shirts. Um, that's really hard size to keep fulfilled in my inventory. Um, XXLs uh, go really quick. I always have a lot of larges. Um, extra smalls, smalls, and XXLs are really hard to keep fulfilled. Um, so I always try to find those on eBay because I don't always find them in store like at Goodwills or in vintage sto uh, like stores, Muncie Mission. Um, okay, so this one is a pack of multiple shirts, so we're going to see what we got into. Um, this was like a package deal I won. Uh, this is Platinum Plus, it says, that's the tag on it. It says Avenue of the Giants 10K Run, sponsored by the Six Rivers Running Club. And it's got these birds, and it's this really cool graphic. It's a red shirt with like a blue graphic. Um, it's really neat. It's a really cool shirt. Um, it almost looks like, like a printmaking. It's got multiple layers, like a carving. That's awesome. Um, and this is 95, year 1995. So someone who's into like athletics or like nature, um, different events might get that shirt. Um, here we go. This one is a XL. Um, it says Casper Beach Park Mendocino? Mendo Mendocino. I can't say that word. Um, this is really soft. This is a really comfy shirt. It's in good shape. Yeah, this is a really simple shirt. Just like... It's got the yellow and the like navy and the like light blue. This is really pretty. Yeah. Okay. Hi guys, we are back. Um, we had to take a little break. Um, I was like ten shirts deep. Well, actually like five, six, and then realized my camera was not recording. So we're gonna have to go back over some shirts. Um, yeah. So this one is from an in sync concert 2001 and it's actually the crew um it's either like stage crew lighting crew um some kind of i'm not quite sure so there's this weird robot on the back it says in sync it says pop city 2001 local crew it's an xl this is super cool i have never seen this shirt before uh, this is the first time i've seen this I'm guessing it's some kind of like lighting crew, stage crew um, shirt, and it's from 2001, and it's in great condition. Um, Carbon, what you doing? <laughs> okay, this one is a journey, and it's actually 2006, which is a little late. That's not completely vintage to me, but this is journey. So it's a journey tour. It has all the different locations on the back. 
Um, it says Journey Tour 2006. It's got their cool graphic on the front. It's a size small. I have a hard time keeping small stocked um, in concert tees. So this is actually going to go in the vintage t-shirt subscription boxes. Um, I don't usually do as late as 2006. That's a little late for me um, for vintage. But it's a really cool shirt, especially for a concert tee. Um, and it's 2006. It's, it's close. It's like 2005 is usually the latest I go for uh, vintage tees for the subscription boxes. Um, but being a Journey t-shirt, it's in great condition. It's definitely got that vintage feel. It's like, like faded black. It's awesome. Okay, this one is not going to go in my subscription boxes. This is actually just going to get sold on my website. It's a Bon Jovi 2010 concert tee. 2010-2011. Um, 2011 not vintage, but it's a cool concert tee that I'm going to be selling on my website. Uh, it says North America 2010, The Circle. And the cool thing about it is all the different locations on the back actually have the dates of the concert when it happened. And then it has a cool picture of Bon Jovi in the middle. Um, so yeah, this is 2010 Bon Jovi, not vintage, but it will go on my Etsy or on my website for sale. Um, let's see. This one is awesome. This is also a concert local crew tee. Um, so this has been like lighting crew, sound crew, um, some kind of like security. This is 2000 Bob Dylan and Phil Lesh. Um, here is the cool graphic. It's just very simple. It's where the pocket would go. Um, it's a black tee. It's size XL. It says Bob Dylan and Phil Lesh, local crew 2000. Cool tee. Pretty simple. We are getting a phone call right now. Hold on. Hello. Hi. Recording a video. It's okay. It's okay. I just stopped in the middle of it. I'm um, opening up my vintage t shirts. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. Okay. We are back from another interruption my mother called um, during my video. So I had to take a little breather and talk to her and let her know I was doing okay. She hadn't heard from me for like a day, so. <laughs> okay, so our next tee is Showboat. Um, this is gonna be a size XL. This is a really pretty yellow graphic with white border um, on this great purple t-shirt. Um, it's great condition, it's really thick, um, it's soft. This is a really pretty tee. I love this purple and yellow together. Um, that's Showboat, that'll go to our um, either event people or if they're into like dramas or plays or musicals or just anything like that. So we're going to keep opening t-shirts and try to get through these. Um, this is a Disney t-shirt. If I can get this open. Here we go. This is a Disney tee. Um, this is actually from Disney. It's not a ripoff. It's Disney Originals. It's a large XL. Um, it says Walt Disney World in font across it. It's got the Disney graphic with just the Walt and World in black. Um, this is really pretty. This is a bright pink, large XL size. Um, great condition. Uh, it almost seems like it's not been worn. It's like in great condition. It's, yeah. And it's got the Disney Originals tag right there. Still has the price tag on there. Um... Not quite the year, not quite sure on the year. It's either early 2000s or 90s. But yeah, this one's in great condition. It's a large XL. Any of my Disney lovers, go ahead and subscribe um, to my Vintage T-Shirt Monthly subscription box service. And if you put Disney, you put pink, your favorite color, you might get that tee. And another T-Shirt. Ooh, this is a pretty purple. And this one... Let's see what this is. Oh, this is Creamers Field, Fairbanks, Alaska. It's a Hange t-shirt. Um, it says Creamers Field is for the birds on the back. It's got two little birds, one with like a binocular <laughs> and one with a book on the back. That's kind of funny. Um, it's just a little graphic up top. Um, it's got great colors in the front. It's like a barn and like the sunset. Uh, this is a really pretty tee. Um, and this one is a size large. This is awesome. I love that purple color with the yellows and greens. Um, someone who's into traveling, locations, um, birds, nature, farming is going to get this t-shirt. 
see what this one is. The black tea. And it says, Crosby is a douche. <laughs> okay, I am not quite sure about this tea. Um, I ordered this one as a joke. Um, it is a anvil tag size large. Um, we get people who put really funny words as their subscription box word. Um, they'll put like sense of humor, they'll put like D-bag, they'll put a-hole, and this one is going to go to those sarcastic sense of humor people who just want a really sarcastic, rude <laughs> shirt. This is going to be great. Um, I'm not quite sure about the story behind this t-shirt. Um, it's like a 90s, early 2000s tee. It's black with that bright yellow graphic across it. Um, it's a funny tee. So if you have a sense of humor and want a really funny, crude shirt, that one's your shirt. Um, this one is a size large. It says the Presidents of the United States, and this is 2001 t-shirt. Um, it's got all the presidents before 2001 on there with the years listed. If you are a geek, a nerd, a history buff, this is your tee. This is a size large, um, so that's going to fit a lot of people, either if you want it baggy, if you want it to fit great. Um, a large is really a good size to go with if you're just not quite sure. Um, if you want it a little bit loose, if you're like a medium, so I'm size medium usually. This is a size large sweatshirt. Um, with vintage stuff, I like it to fit a little bit loose. Um, sometimes it's shrunk a little bit, so I always go a little bit bigger um, than normal. Um, but yeah, this is great. This starts back at $17.89 um, to $17.97 with our, the first president. And then it goes all the way to the 43rd president. Um, and it's got Washington, D.C., United States of America on it with all of their signatures. Uh, this is a really cool tee. Um, it's really soft and comfy. If it wasn't something to do with presidents, um, I'd probably keep this. This is really soft. This is like a great vintage tee. Um, it feels really worn in and it's comfy. Um, but I'm not much of a history buff. I'm actually terrible with history. So <laughs> not my kind of tee, but it's okay. Um, let's see what this one is. I get all different sorts of people that subscribe to my subscription boxes. Um, and having a variety of different people is really fun because then it makes shopping for all different t-shirts. Um, it just, it's really fun to shop for different people. So this one's a 1996 American Football Conference Divisional Playoffs tee. Um, it's got the Steelers and the Patriots against each other. Uh, it says 1996, I'm real big up here. So if you're a 90s sports nerd, this is great. Um, you've got your football conference tee playoffs shirt right here. It has the big graphics of the team. It's got their uh, like tickets on it. That one's really fun. Um, so if you are into sports or athletics, whatever, football, that's a great tee. Um, this one is for our nerds. This one is a 2000 tee. Um, just got a great big lightning bolt across it. Um, I get a lot of people who are into video games, who are into Marvel, movies, um, someone who just kind of wants something nerdy, and sometimes I don't have enough, so I just order simple stuff like this because it's a lot of people are going to be really into this, um, and it is a size medium, so that's great because mediums, I don't have a ton of mediums right now in inventory, um, and I have a lot of nerdy, geeky people who are wanting teas, and actually, I have one right here that it's going to fit perfectly. So I already know who this tea is going to. This is spoken for. So whoever gets that in your box, there you go. On to the next one. There's a couple shirts in here. Oh, this is really cool. This says black label across it. The tag's cut out of it. Um, I'm going to guess it's a size large XL. Um, it's got black label across the sleeve as well with a little fire graphic. Um, this is a really cool pop culture style shirt. Um, if you're into fashion, um, pop culture, this is a great shirt. Um, it's kind of, I can't tell if it's a navy or a black. I think it's like a worn out black. Um, but it's got these really cool red and white graphics across it. I love navy or black with red and white. I think those are like some of the coolest shirts. Um, they can be like the simplest graphics, but they're just really neat. Um, yeah. So the second t-shirt in this one, the tag is also cut out. Um, it says Ground Control Classic Arcade. This is going to go to one of my nerdy geekies. Um, this is either a size medium or large. I'm going to have to do some measurements. 
Um, this is an awesome tea. This is great. <laughs> this is a some kind of video game, nerdy um, video game or movie. I am not much of a nerd when it comes to like video games or like I've never seen Star Wars. I've never seen, um, I've seen Harry Potter. I love Harry Potter. Um, I've, I'm just terrible. I've never seen like those Star Wars or Lord of the Rings movies. Um, and I know I love vintage shirts and I'm not even like a geek. That's so weird. Um, I'm more into like the Disney, um, the animal graphics, um, music, concert tees, traveling, like locations. Um, I'm not much of a nerd. I am nerdy, but I'm not nerdy in my tastes, I guess. Okay. So this one is a Metallica tee. This is awesome. It's got a, you're probably not going to be able to see it. It's really faint. It's this black skull across the tee. Uh, it fills up almost the whole face of the tee, which is awesome. Metallica. This one's going to go really quick. Um, this one is a size large. Um, this will go very fast. People love concert music tees, uh, band tees. Metallica. It's a great tee to have. And it's this really cool green with a light, faint black graphic on it. And our next tee is red. Let's see what's on this one. This one says Gargantua Soul. This is an XL, I'm gonna say early 2000s, uh, late 90s. It's in great condition, it's real soft. It's a heavy tee. Um, yeah, this one's really cool. It's just got a simple black graphic across the front. We're gonna do all the sweatshirts at the end, the ones I have left over. So we're gonna try to do all our tees first. Okay, I'm back guys. This is the last grouping of t-shirts and sweaters I have. Um, this is an awesome 1988 Olympics tee. Um, it's got fencing on it, it's got swimming, basketball, it's got little weightlifting. Um, and this tee actually is from 1988. It's gonna come with an awesome Olympics towel. Um, it's really long. This is awesome. It's got this great Olympics long towel with it. And also, it comes with two little pins um, from the Olympics, which are really cool. So you'll get all that if you get this Olympics tee. Um, I'm going to guess this is a size medium to small um, Olympics tee. Um, so yeah, it's really cool. I'll do some measuring on that one, and that will go in a subscription box. Um, this one is a... Mickey Ink size small. Um, sorry guys. <laughs> Disney Mickey sweater. This is a really great one. Um, it says Walt Disney World across it. It's got Mickey. It's a great graphic. It's really thick. Great condition. No holes. No stains. This one's really comfy. You know I love my Mickey sweaters. Um, this one's great. So yeah. This one will go in a subscription box. Size small. Walt Disney World Mickey. Muggsy please stop. Okay, this sweater cracks me up. So it is a cat playing golf. It has hole eight across here on the back with the pin, a little golf ball and a little mouse, and it's got this big fat cat across the front golfing. It is great. Um, it's a size large, it's crazy shirts. Um, I'm gonna say 90s probably. Um, and the funny thing about this is my boyfriend's dad owns a golf course um, and they've always got tons of stray cats out there just roaming. So I really, if this shirt does not go to someone, I'm gonna wear this cat golf sweater out to the golf course and make some people laugh. <laughs> um, this one is an awesome sweater. This is 1985. Um, it's in perfect condition. It is Yosemite. It's bright blue and it's got these adorable little red and white brown bears on here. Um, it's got swimming, um, they've got little swimsuits on, it's got bears diving and swimming. This is an awesome sweater. I'm going to say this is one of my favorites from the day. This is an awesome graphic, it's in great condition, it's that bright blue color. Definitely cannot tell it's a 1985 sweater. It's in perfect condition. Um, this one is the second to last sweater I have. This is a Christmas sweater. Um, this is awesome. It's got a little duck, a bunny, a bear on there. It says Christmas, hold on, Christmas movers and shakers. <laughs> so they're like opening the gifts. Um, it's year 1990, 
It's a perfect ugly Christmas sweater. It's not even ugly, it's adorable, it's stinking precious. Um, it'd be great to add to your Christmas sweater collection. Um, it is a size large. It's going to go in my subscription boxes or they'll be sold around Christmas time. It's an awesome sweater for if you have grandkids or if you have little kids, nieces and nephews, or if you're just a child at heart, it's a great sweater. Um, this is my last one I've got for the day. This is probably early 2000s, late 1990, California. It's got the little hang loose symbol on there. It's a great little sweater. Um, let's see what size it is. It's a size small. It's in great condition. It's really soft. Um, it's just a fun little Disney Mickey like hang loose symbol. It says California across it. So yeah, that is my last sweatshirt of the day. I'm really glad you guys watched today. Um, I hope you guys subscribe down below. If you want to follow me on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, Vintage T-Shirt Monthly. Uh, my name is Kyla Jo Tig, and I run all the websites. I send out your shirts. I shop for your shirts. I pick your shirts. I package them. I go to the post office. I run the whole thing from start to finish. Um, and I really appreciate you guys watching. And if you have any suggestions or if you like to do the shirts below and want to snag one, um, I'm going to put the link for the subscription box service. I'm also, um, you can email me, you can comment below, message me if you're interested in any specific shirt. So I'm really glad you guys watched today. Thanks for putting up with my crazy channel. <laughs> and please subscribe on Instagram, follow on Facebook, and subscribe down below. Bye guys! <laughs>